NZ, and as ever, our streamer will be Mr. Lee. And uh, tonight we're actually going to be bringing you two matches from Phantasmagoria's perspective, one of which will be in the Zowie COD 4 Challenge, and the second is against Lowland Lines in EMS. And uh, NZ, I think we're right into the action here in the first round. Yes, we are. Obviously the veto just went over. They didn't bother knifing for either side or the veto. So we have gone live, and I haven't actually had a chance to say hello, so hi guys. Um, sorry we didn't realise they were going to go straight in, so we were kind of la late going live. And the stream wasn't ready, so kind of late minute stuff. But uh, as I've been talking, it's gone down to 1v2 here, as Peds is left standing with that... As he does see a player in mid, as he does get tagged up, as he's going to peek onto this A site. It is Katana and Zabza left. Zabza on the top A. And Katana entering bottom A right now with that bomb. And Ped's completely out of position right now. As he is about to get in position to scope onto that A site. Explosives planted. As the plant has gone down. And I don't think he's realized it yet. But uh, he seems to think that there is one around the uh, sandbags area. As he makes his way towards A. Kind of peek around the corner. Does see Zabs that on? Top A and Zabs is just going to AK him down, given the first round too fan. Indeed, and I think a lot of people don't know too much about the second coming. I'll be honest and put my hand up and say I don't either, uh, from what you said earlier, and Z don't. So I think a lot of people will be expecting Phantasmagoria to quite relatively comfortably take this match. But uh, let's hope that TSC can provide some resistance here as Seven has gone down early. Kremka straight back onto Katana though. Very aggressive push round the back. Is actually in the spawn of the attack now. As V gets the double onto Diamond and Razor. Great SMG work. That bomb will go down from L King. Four versus two. Four versus one now as Peds Dude is the last remaining player. Epic name if I do say so myself. And he will be the scope as he lands a cheeky grenade onto V. Three more players to find and kill but he's been spotted. Very nearly picks up that scope. Frag and a peek once again. Tries the no scope. Pulls out the AK-47, but there's Robons with the eagle. 2-0 the scoreline. And, uh, yeah, I think a lot of people in here are expecting Phantasmagoria to kind of walk this match. Yeah, well, we kind of thought, you know, we're going to cast Phantasmagoria against Lowland Lions. So let's hope there's no delays and we'll go straight into the Lowland Lions game straight after this. And uh, hopefully TSC can, can get a few rounds on the board. Um, personally, haven't uh, heard of this team as of yet, but uh, let's get straight back into the action once again. And Zabza gets yet another frag, currently on 5 to nil already. As Katana does get himself a double frag there. Kremkar just goes down from the AK spray. Zabza is making his way down this B site. As the bomb is also making his way down the B site. 2v4. As Zabza does spot a leg there, there's the AKF Diamond, Diamond does come out on top though, as Zabza will go down, but Diamond, straight it's after that, splendid. he's going to be killed, as the plant goes down on B, and it's all down to 7, as he will get taken down as well, with a headshot from V, and that's going to be 3-0, and I'm not really thinking that TSC uh, are going to really put up a fight here. Yeah... <laughs> It's difficult for TSC, isn't it? I mean, what, what do you think they're going to have to do to manage to pull this match out of the uh, the jaws of defeat? Oh, I guess that is AFK. Either way, 5v1. Peds dude is the last remaining player. Top of sandbags. He's got that scope, but uh, he's being tagged heavily. Don't see him picking this one up. Especially as the bomb has just gone down from L King. And uh, Peds dude has dropped, but five players to find and kill from Fan and there's Vey picking up his second or third frag of the round to bring this to a 4-0. Very comfortable one-way traffic. Are you back, Enzi? Yeah, hello? I was alright here. Oh, I, I asked what you think that um, oh. TSC could do to, to manage to pull this oh, game sorry, back. Oh, uh, sorry, man. Oh, it's okay. I assumed, that I assumed you went to get a drink or something. Um, I, I don't know, man. Uh, <laughs> it's already 4 now, and it's been kind of really easy for Fan at the moment. Uh, I don't think they can do much. Uh, what, what do you think? <laughs> well, the grenades don't seem to really be too good from TSC at the moment. I mean, Fan are constantly getting into A without any problems whatsoever. 
So you have to question whether those grenades are landing on Crash, landing on Blue, Explosive and stopping Fan from pushing in quickly. Because all they're doing right now, they've rinsed and repeated over and over again, is push A, Elkin gets that bomb down, 4v2, easy peasy, and TSC can't do too much. And if you see them, they're both kind of scared to move, both around back of sandbags, as Ped's dude has been dropped from Katana. Gonna leave Diamond in a 1 versus 4, picked up 1, but there's Elking from the wooden balcony. 5-0 the score in NZ and I really think that TSC just have to lock those grenades down if they want any chance as uh, Race is actually on for the bond here. Yeah. Uh, definitely need them grenades locked down of course. Standard stuff on Crash. You don't want any SMGs getting in bottom A very quickly as two frags have been exchanged. This time for TSC though as Katana will trade one back as Kramkar will go down. They will come around the corner of mid A. Not sure how he got in there with the SMG7. Goes down. Elking with that M4. Razor now killed as Diamond will get his second of the round onto Elking. Leaving it on a 2v2. All even once again. Currently following onto Peds as he peeks the mid and Katana with a cheeky peek around the corner. Picks up the frag with that SMG as Diamond is your last remaining player. But not for long as Vey is just going to peek from top 8. Take him down with the SMG and that's going to be 6-0. Yes, six comfortable rounds for Fan. Uh, TSC simply have to start landing these grenades, as I said earlier. I'm going to follow on from Kremkart for TSC. See what's happening. Grenades seem to be kind of... wasn't really too good, to be fair. It's not going to land on anyone as Robons is going to push in. And Norwegian just going phenomenal there. Onto Kremkart and Razor. And suddenly it's a four versus zero. And uh, the bond has been dropped from Razor. Agent Razor is in the house. 7-0 overall. And to be completely honest, Denzi, I think this match is already over. As uh, depressing as that sounds. I told you, man. I weren't confident about his name going into this game. Razor Sidewalk. <laughs> and he's got a bond. But, you know, <laughs> Fan are a great side. Obviously, if he isn't very experienced and stuff, it happens. It happens to everybody. Unless you're some god. Um, but I don't think that's really... Yeah, applicable. As uh, they will get their SMG onto Diamond. And Explosive Peds is your last man standing with five Phantasmagoria players. And if he pulls this one off, then yeah, he's not going to put it off. He does land a tag though with the no scope, but Robon's too good with that Deagle, too strong as it is. As it will be 8 0 going into the ninth. I'm going to follow off A. He's on 16 for 3 after just 8 rounds, so he's been steamrolling along, and I want to see where he's pushing here. He's going to go straight down mid, and that's the first grenade I've seen drop from TSC. They've picked up the second. Perhaps they can actually get themselves on the scoreboard. Elking says no. Taking down Kremkart. Katana back onto seven. Zabza with a frag with onto Diamond. And oh dearie me, this was TSC's chance to get that point on the board. But it's not going to happen for them. Having said that though, Elking with the bomb has timed out in a precarious spot on T-Wall. As Razor picks up his first frag of the match. Welcome to the scoreboard, Mr. Razor. And he's actually got two in this round. As uh, it's now basically a two versus one. Zabza against Peds Dude and Razor. As Razor has picked up the... Uh, I was about to say picked up the frag onto Elking. Actually, he didn't pick up the frag. Elking timed out completely. He has rejoined now. Zabza in that 1v2. He's got the bomb on T wall. Peds dude's looking at top of hardware. Razor is on A. Zabs are looking to push into A. Changes his mind. Gonna go back to mid once again. And Peds dude's positioning here isn't great. I mean they have absolutely no coverage of mid whatsoever and that's exactly where Zabs is pushing through. He's gonna come up onto Sandbag Roof. It's gonna be a He's not actually, I was about to say it's going to be an exchange of the scopes, but he decides to jump off, smokes the bomb, Peds dude's throwing the up and over grenade onto the bomb site. It does actually miss Zabza, and he could very well get this bomb down. He's got the bomb planted through that smoke, and somehow he's still in this round by the skin of his teeth. Razor's pushing around from Red Car now, and Zabza has peeked out with that scope. Peds dude's still on top of hardware. Razor's going to get taken down if he's not careful here from Zabza. And they're doing the loop the loop and Zabza has taken down Razor looking for the second frag. Peds dude has dropped, now pushing to the bomb. And Zabza's going to see <laughs> Peds dude and picks up the 2v1 clutch. But to be completely honest, NZ, he had no right to do so. As he got that plant down right under Peds dude's nose. Oh my god. The woes continue for TSC. That was painful to watch. <laughs> I don't get what Peds was doing there on top sandbags looking at hardware, you know, they had no coverage whatsoever of mid 
or the B site. Obviously, the AK was in A garden, so A was kind of locked down. Um, but I don't know what he was doing, just laying there prone, looking at hardware. And as I've been speaking, a complete steamroll round comes out from Fan, and that's 10-0. And uh, <laughs> TSC just saying they want one round. Oh, it's not oh, gonna man. happen. Well, they had an ample chance to get it a couple rounds ago against Abza. And they kind of threw that one away as Vey has picked up the opening frag onto seven. Diamond gets the double onto Robons and Elkin. Kremka comes back onto Vey. Perhaps this is another chance. But Zabza is still standing tall and proud. The Frenchman is on the prowl. And as long as he's alive, you can never count Phantasmagoria out of the round. And plus the fact he's also got Katana in the port. But actually TSC... ACS, I should say, have picked up that round, taking down the final two players of Phantasmagoria. Welcome to the scoreboard, but NZ, to be completely honest, I mean, do you see any chance of them coming back into this match? No, it's 10-1, you're against Phantasmagoria, I think, uh, uh, a one round off. Um, I just heard some feedback there, was that just me? I did, for a second, but uh, I'm, I don't know what that was. I was like, am I hearing myself? <laughs> I don't know, maybe one of the uh, streamers uh, opened their mics. But, yeah, I think it's a bit too late. You're against Phantasmagoria. Maybe they'll pick up a second round, I don't know. It'll be nice for them. They have got that consolation round they were asking for, apparently. As a uh, shotgun from Katana to finish off Enmu. And uh, it's all down to Razor now. 1v3, Katana, Elking, and Zabza left standing. Katana actually receiving a huge tag. He's not going to drop. As Razor actually has two in front of him, one uh, is going to get taken down, but they lined up there and he looks like he's lagging. Yeah, he does. Otherwise, I think he would have picked up that double. As he's made his way to the top corner. Planted. And that really should have been a double frag there, but if he's lagging, he can't do much about it. There's one directly below him, that's Katana with a shotgun. Wow! Bam! And uh, the shotgun comes in from Katana, and that's the round. 11-1. Two more rounds for the victory for Phantasmagoria. Yeah, I feel sorry for Razor though, he had a chance, but uh, you could see on his screen he was getting some severe lag or FPS drops, one of the two. Either way, it was crippling. And uh, now we will be going into the second half, now roles reversed, now we're going to have Phantasmagoria on the defense, TSC on the attack, the second coming. And uh, let's see if this second coming is going to be advantageous for them. As I'm watching Kramkar here, had the best spawn with the SMG, opting to wait for those grenades. Going to push forward now, heavy smoke down, nice smokes there. But uh, Katana will pick up that first frag onto Pedstoon. As Kramkar tries his best to do the jump onto FPS, but unfortunately for him, Katana does peek around that corner and suddenly raises in a 1 versus 4. The Lagmaster himself has it all to do here. Definitely outmanned, but will he be outgunned? Only time will tell. Opens up onto Zabs. A nice SMG frag. Another play around to the left. He's going to come around here. Not quite sure what he's going to try and do. And there's El King from Link. Does pick up the pieces. 12-1 NZ. And this has definitely been a whitewash. But this is what tends to happen in uh, in cups. I mean, the first two rounds, you get a team of Phantasmagoria's caliber against, you know, a team like TST. SC. That's no disrespect to them, but there's quite a big skill gap between these two. Yeah, indeed. You normally see that with cups and stuff. Sorry, my game sounds are just completely gone skyrocketing high, so I don't know what that's about. But yeah, you normally see that in uh, the cups, you know. Um, but it's bound to happen. Everyone wants to take a shot at uh, a winning, so... Uh... We do see that quite often, but the bomb has gone down. Phantasmagoria got to be rushed to having to defuse this bomb. TSC actually in a good position right now. As El King drops from sandbags, makes his way into back A. One is actually to his right. There he is. That's Kremkar. Come out on top. And wow, another TSC round. That was actually quite a nice attack from them right there. Indeed, and uh, after this matchup, of course, we are going to be watching Phantasmagoria against Lowland Line, so a nice warm-up for Fan here. And unfortunately, we actually have some pretty nasty news from Phantasmagoria's viewpoint, as this will probably be Robon's last night with Phantasmagoria for a little while. He is joining the Norwegian army tomorrow. It's, uh, I think he's obligated to do so, he can't say no to it. So, it's going to be interesting to see what Phantasmagoria do, and uh, Robon's will be looking to end 
this streak with the SMG for Phantasmagoria in the best possible way. As I am following him now, you can hear that bomb going down, going to push out as a grenade lands to his right onto a Razor. And of course, before he did hear that fake going down, so he knows there's a player above him. And he is now going to push up. Which player will that be? It's going to be Seven. Seven does take down Robons. Two versus three. Very much split up from TSC, though. As you've got Seven in A. And Peds dude with that scope is looking down B. Alley. He can see Zabs' scope just peering round. As Seven will fake once again. Will he get the frag? No, he won't. Somehow, Elking has picked that one up. Had no right to do so. And in the meantime, Peds dude did take down Zabza. So you're now got a one versus two situation. Peds dude nearly lands another onto Katana in mid. And Elking is prowling around A. Peeking around with the, uh, the Deagle. Maybe not the greatest of ideas, but there's Katana to pick up the pieces. And indeed, finish off this matchup in the second round of the Zowie COD 4 Challenge. And that will be the 13-2 scoreline, NZ. As we do head on to Lowland Lions versus Phantasmagoria in the EMS playoff round 2. And that should be coming up very shortly. But any thoughts about this matchup? Uh, it, it was pretty one-sided, but, you know. Kudos to um, TSC for at least trying, you know. They, they didn't just completely give up, you know. Um, obviously, you can kind of see from this matchup they're not as experienced, so, you know, uh, every team needs to get better. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's basically all I can say, Vince. I'm not sure if you have anything to add, but we do have Lowland Lions against 